Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo from rubyguides.com. If you like Ruby, make sure to subscribe to the channel now so you can get more videos like this. In this video, you're going to learn about multidimensional arrays, multidimensional arrays. So what, what is that? What is a multi multidimensional array? Well, a multidimensional array is an array with more arrays inside. So arrays inside arrays. And there is multiple levels, multiple dimensions that you can have. So you can have an array with arrays and uh, these arrays also have arrays inside them. So you can have many nested arrays like that. And that's the only thing that a multidimensional array is. It might sound like very fancy word, but the only thing that means is arrays inside arrays. So let me show you an example here. I have this multidimensional array. And inside this outside array, so look at the brackets, right? The square brackets. This is the main array, this is the array where the other arrays are contained. And you can see it if you follow the, the brackets. And then in here we have another array. And inside this array we have two items, bacon and orange. And then there is a comma, which means this is the end of this array. And then we have another array and yet another array. So how do we access items inside a multidimensional array? Let me show you. So in a regular array, you need an index. So the index starts with zero and the zero is the first position. So if we want the first position of a regular non-multidimensional array, we will do this. We will do the name of the array. In this case, I name it A. And the index that we want. In this case, I want the index zero. So right now, since this is a multidimensional array, meaning there is more arrays inside the array, what we get is one of the inside the arrays instead of one of the elements, because the array itself it's an element of the array. So now how do we get to bacon? If we want to get us some bacon for dinner, <laughs> how do we do that? Well, we need to dig deeper. We need another index. And the way to do that is we need another pair of brackets, square brackets, and another index. So for example, if we want the bacon, since the bacon is the first element of this soup array, then we need zero. So this is the first soup array and the first item within that. So doing this a zero zero, we're going to get the bacon. And there we go, we get bacon, and we can have bacon for dinner now. <laughs> what if we want some dessert with one of our orange? Or maybe we want to make some orange juice? Well, we can get the orange, just like a regular array. We get first the first part, the first soup array with zero. And then we get the second element, so first element, Second element, the second element is always index one. So index one, there you go, we get our orange. What if we want some chocolate? Chocolate instead of orange. Or maybe we want both. <laughs> There's nothing bad with that as long as it high um, percentage of chocolate. No, don't, get, don't get some chocolate with a lot of sugar or, or a lot or with milk that's not even chocolate 
So le, le, let's go back to the exercise. That just uh, an aside. What? How do we get here? Well, we need to recognize that this is the second element inside the, this bigger array, the outside array. And we can check that we indeed we're getting that. And then we just need to dig deeper, drill down into this array. And we do that with another index. And we get our chocolate. Okay? So that's how you work with multidimensional arrays. And if you have more arrays inside the arrays, like inside, in here we have another inside array. It, 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 or in here, doesn't matter. Then the only thing you have to do is even more deep, even more indexes. So in this case, we get array with chocolate. We just need to dig one level deeper. And there we go. So that's how that works. As an exercise, take this array or create your own with your favorite food items or whatever you want and practice just practice picking up um the item you want outside the array and with practice you will learn how to do this it's very easy once you understand the concept of this indexing okay so i hope you found this super useful and interesting if you did please give me a like so you know that you like this video um please subscribe to the channel now if you haven't yet because i will help you keep getting more videos like this to keep improving your ruby skills and if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments and i will see i will see you in the next video thanks for watching